Hey Cass, so what are you building today? Well, it's uh, kind of a little mini greenhouse, but it looks more like a jigsaw puzzle to me at this point in time. We've got 500 pieces here, and I'm just trying to sort out what is what. And then hopefully, once we know what we got, we are kind of off to the races, but we shall see. How's your jigsaw puzzle doing? Well, I think we got it figured for the base here so far. I think that's one of the things. You just have to make sure we do it in a certain order so you don't uh, corner yourself. And then all of a sudden you have no room to maneuver. All right, Cass, what step are you on? Well, the first step, I think the base we have ready, as you can see here, the frame is outlined what it needs to be here. Um, it helps uh, actually all the corners and connecting pieces have numbers on as well. That helps you to determine what goes where. So the next step you're going to do is you're going to use these short ones. They're going to be these upright ones here. They go into uh, each of the opening we have. And then we're going to build the next shelf, which is kind of the same as the bottom here. And then that goes on top of the skin. But you got to keep in mind that you don't assemble yourself in a corner. What I mean by that is you can assemble it, but then all of a sudden you have trouble putting it back together because you are bound by the distances and all that stuff. More here. And that's together. So you kind of see how it comes together now. And the next step is we're going to assemble um, these ones here, but we're not going to put the ends on assemble this, we're going to assemble it first as like a separate shelf, and then we can just put it straight on top. I think that would be the easiest way. So we're not going to connect anything here at this point. Okay. We're going to build the frame right now. Now this. Yes, that's right. Okay, this side is assembled. So, repeat and do the same on the other side. Looks good. It works pretty well, but it's not something you want to do when the weather is too cold because this is all uh, plastic corners and uh, we live in a cold climate so we know when we try to assemble something like that or take it apart for the matter as well when it's cold, it uh, increases the chance that it will actually just snap on you. So, All right. Second shelf, this will be a shelf in here, so we have a second one here. We just very loosely put our ends on so we know which way they face and which ends we need. So we'll assemble this pretty much the same way again, just like the other one. Go. If you line it up correctly, it goes pretty quick and then you have a pretty good idea how it's supposed to, uh, actually how it's supposed to look. Makes it makes it a lot easier. You don't have to second guess. And go. There we go. So that's and we'll eventually go on just like so then. But uh, we'll uh, see on with the second half. We got this straight. 
and one more crossbar. As I said, if you line it up, it goes pretty, pretty quick. And you know you have it assembled right, so. Okay, then you can line this up again. And don't push it all the way down right away, just hold it in place. So you have some room to play with. Because you do have a little bit of tension at this point in time. There we go. Oops, I missed one. Probably jumped out. It just pushed out on each end a bit. And when you're certain you have it right, you can click it all in. There we go. Now we gotta do the same over here as well. The one end over there seems like it's up higher. Which one? This? Yep. There we go. There we go. Now the middle. Perfect, mister. So we have the bottom frames ready. So we start to put the roof on. We got these ones here. Except we bypassed the step here. Which step is bypassed? We need to put twos in first. You mean here? Yeah, hold okay. on a sec. So now that we got that figured out. All right, somebody wanted to skip the entire third floor. So anyways, here we are again. We have to add another level here. And that's what we are doing right now. Put them in. Again, you don't push them all the way down. We can do this uh, in a little bit once we have everything ready. Now we gotta find the appropriate uh, corners again. Like we got our ducks in a row again. We got this figured. We put the plastic pieces on just very, very loose again. As you can see, they are slightly different. And we have our cross member bars here. And I think, uh, oops. you know, you talk and you s confuse yourself. There we go. Change pants now. I don't have a back pocket anymore. <laughs> keep it in your, keep it in your hands, and then you confuse yourself. Okay, put this on loosely. Same we can do over here. As I said, everything is just put together quite loose right now. Next step is we have some long ones here. They will go. Yes, I can put it all the way in here. We gotta do the same over here. Here we take it apart. Okay, it's all loose. Now we do the same thing on the outside. I'll step on here so you can see. because we need one more here and that's self-explanatory by what we have left and by size so we know this is not together the way it needs to be. Here we go. That's good. Same over here. The middle one on that side looks like it's higher. Here? Yeah. That's all I can do here. Okay. Yeah, that's better. I don't think they are precision engineered, but <laughs> it works. <laughs> okay, so now we go on to the next step. Since we have our third floor, oops, 
so the curve goes down here. It seemed to be awfully tight to go in here, so I'll be careful. Just gonna put them in very loose. Actually, if I come to think of to avoid some problems, I think you're gonna assemble this, this first. So, as I said, we assembled the top portion here. So, uh, the next step is we're gonna line it up anywhere and connect it up here. So, it's probably easier with two people, but let's we'll see here. Again, it's going very loose. We're not gonna make it too tight right now. We're just kind of lining it up. There we go. So that's how it goes in. Now the next step is we just have to push everything kind of together and we'll make sure it's make sure it kind of goes as straight as possible into the uh, plastic frames here because as I say keep in mind that's only only plastic in there. So well, I'm thinking about okay happy with this so Side. Seems a bit higher, but it is it is all the way in, so I think that's about as good as it's gonna get. Okay, then they give us some shelving here, and you can just either just lay them on here, but it's also a few zip ties that come with it, so uh, you can easily uh, give it one or two zip ties to uh, keep them a bit in place. That's about all you will need. Okay, too fast, and as I say, they just lay on here. We'll probably give a zip tie on each corner and they're not going to go anywhere so as you see here Cass is just putting a zip tie one in opposing corners on each shelf so just two per shelf there we go as you can see yeah I can lift here and here but that's not going to go that's not going to go anywhere anymore so when you're done, just take a little scissor and uh, cut the ends off and you're all good. All right, frame is assembled. So we're gonna put the uh, supplied plastic cover on here and fasten it to the frame. So let's see how this works out the best. Yes, quite clear yet. Okay, Over there. So we're going to line it up perfectly, then it has these zip ties here where we're going to tie it up and then you have, I don't know, either your greenhouse or your sauna step in here, it's like 50 degrees, but anyways, let's work on these zip ties and we'll go from there. It's a good weight loss plan. Yeah. Sure it is. <laughs> if you train for a hike into the desert, yeah, you can climatize a bit, so. Right now we're tying on the uh, plastic cover to the frame and uh, it's relatively uh, not very long to make some knots or tie it up somehow. And that's how she sits right now.